Sorry to call, tell everybody the truth. The man cannot play the game of basketball. He has small hands. He can't catch the ball. He's got bad feet. He can't really move, even though he's mobile. Doesn't really know what he's doing. Doesn't have a post move that he he puts to memory. What's up, guys? It's your boy Diamond. Welcome back to Diamond Up. Cause before we get into the video, I want you to like, comment, and subscribe to join the ride and be with your boy Dime. Hey, I just watched this Clippers Jazz game. This is a good game. Um, for the Clippers, of course, not for the Jazz. I mean, the Jazz—they didn't shoot. The, they didn't play particularly well. The, I, I saw the Clippers had though that defensive adjustments. They had a lot of defensive adjustments, especially against Donovan Mitchell, double teaming him, when, especially when it was late in the shot clock and really when they had to get a shot up, you know. And if you think about it, the Jazz are a team that live or die by the three-pointer. So when the three-pointer has been shut down, wherein they sh did not shoot the ball particularly well from three, even they went 19 for 44, which is still pretty efficient, 43.2%. They didn't shoot as well as the Clippers, who went 19 for 36, which is 52.8%. And their field goal percentage overall for the Jazz was not as good as the Clippers, who was 56.2. They were very efficient. Um, total rebounds, Clippers had more rebounds by three. The team... The team actually played very good defensively, the Clippers did, and Paul George and um did very well. Paul George was able to put up 31 points, which is like he hasn't scored 30 points in a very long time, and this was a big bounce back game, and he was very, he was pretty efficient from the field, and I really like to see that Paul George once again, and he's really living up to the playoff P moniker. Um, hopefully this, this isn't a one game, uh, one game wonder type thing. You know, Kawhi, you know, doing his thing as well, putting up 34 points and 12 rebounds. He did not play particularly well, especially shooting the three ball. I think he went like one for seven or one for six, something like that. He didn't shoot the ball particularly well from three, but he was able to get his shots up in the mid range where that's his specialty. And that's where he made a name for himself back in San Antonio. Now let's talk about the Jazz. Now, Donovan Mitchell, he had 30, you know, a pretty good Donovan Mitchell type game, but they struggled especially during that first half getting up shots especially when they started missing their shots um they're a team that relatively as i said before lives or dies by that three and at points in the game it looked like they were just dying by that three they weren't hitting their threes they they weren't having good offensive possessions donovan mitchell was getting double teamed there really wasn't anything they could do you know except force up either a bad shot or a moving shot or a, or a, or, a, or a very difficult shot and they and I saw they were missing easy layups. Donovan Mitchell, everybody was actually missing very easy shots. You know, easy like little chippies that you could like bounce off the glass and get a pretty easy bucket. But <clears throat> unfortunately, that that wasn't the case. And really, they um the Clippers outscored them in every quarter except the third. And the third quarter was when they started making their resurgency. You know, they, 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 it looked like they were about to take, they were like, the closest they got was like nine points at that time, late in the game. You know, you would think they would get better, but Kawhi and them pulled through with the win. And as, as, as I said before, this is going to be a good series. I do not want this series to be, to be a five game series or five game series or a six game series. I mean, it can't even, you know, I want this game to go down to the wire every single game, even though that didn't happen tonight when they were down. 20 26 um they they lost by 26 even though that happened i really want to see these games come down to the wire because i feel like this team can these these two teams can really trade blows with each other especially in that late third and fourth quarter donovan mitchell did uh go down with like an ankle injury i don't i don't know if it's like an injury injury or if it's just he ag re aggravated it I, I remember he went up for a layup, an easy layup and missed. They they followed it up with a rebound. Uh, Royce O'Neal or Derek Favors followed it up with a rebound tip in, tip in. And it looked like he was hobbling. I don't know if it was an injury, like an ankle injury, because he did suffer an ankle injury before, like and during the last like few weeks of the season. That made him miss like 16 games. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. I haven't been really keeping up with the Utah Jazz like that um, during the regular season. Um... So that could play a factor if he's available to play. I haven't heard any talks about him not being available to play. So maybe it's just a little tweak that that can be um, healed at least by um, the next game. Um, but I don't really see him that really messing up him playing in this series. Um, another player that I really want to see now is Mike Conley. 
Mike Conley has been a very good player for the Jazz this season, even though he wasn't particularly that good last season. He improved for this season, and he's been playing his role significantly, scoring and also being the main playmaker for the team. And I really want to see how he will be able to affect the game and will and open up more shooting opportunities for the rest of the squad. I mean, they haven't really been able, they really haven't had trouble shooting the ball. It's just them getting the ball in the basket really been their, their struggle. So this, this, this game was very good for the Clippers, not necessarily for the Jazz, even though they did break 100 and they did shoot the ball efficiently, but not as efficient as they were a, 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 a series ago or, or, or uh, in games one and two. Also, Rudy Gobert, it looked like his presence was diminished because they were throwing bodies on bodies on bodies on bodies on Rudy Gobert. And it really made him not effective in the game. So <clears throat> that's something that can play a key part in, especially the defense of the Clippers. The, the Clippers defense looked like the, the defense everybody's been hyping up about. You know, everybody's been saying, oh, the Clipper defense, woo dee woo 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 woo. This looked like the Clippers defense that we all been talking about. So in the comments below, tell me your thoughts about this series and any other series you want, if any other series that you find interesting in the NBA. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to join the ride and be with your boy Dime. And how can you like the video and not like it? God bless. Peace out. 100. Bam.